The following program is presented with closed captioning available. This is a service of Maricopa College's television, channel 115. From the Maricopa Community College campuses to your home, this is Maricopa Now. Here are some of the stories you'll see. A new building at South Mountain Community College incorporates all the ingredients for student success. Artists express their creativity at Scottsdale Community College's 13th Annual Drawing Exhibition. Plus, it's a physical and mental workout for these youngsters at Estrella Mountain Community College. And there's so much more on this edition of Maricopa Now. Now from Studio A at Scottsdale Community College, here's your host, Kim Getz. Welcome to our show. Thanks for joining us. More students are using South Mountain Community College's Learning Center now that it's located in a bigger and more accessible spot on campus. Maricopa Now's Courtney Carlmark takes us inside, where a new concept is also helping students succeed. Students at South Mountain Community College are walking into a one-stop shop for student success. But you find out what A is. Inside the new Learning Center, the modern look and open space make for a comfortable and inviting place to study but a new concept is also catching the eyes of students. Instead of writing that, we're going to write F of 3. What used to be known as tutoring is now being called academic success coaching. Academic success coaching is for all students, whether they are stellar 4.0 and on track to transfer, or those that are struggling that need a little bit more assistance. Freshman Rahim Muhammad has big dreams of becoming a mechanical engineer, which means he's taking on a large load. I'm taking English, math, chemistry, and communication. When he's not in class, he's at the Learning Center, getting one-on-one -on -one help from student success coaches like Andrea Banks. When I started school, we had to either sink or swim. And what I mean by that is we didn't have many people teaching us what it takes to be successful in college. Banks wants all her students to graduate, so she helps them make goals and stick with them. When I see them getting off track or getting off of their educational plan, I make sure that I step in, intervene, and help them out to graduate and to succeed. In her student success workshops, Banks teaches some important lessons on getting organized and how to juggle school and life, something sophomore Jama Her is all too familiar with. Work, school time, time to study, time, you know, to have go out, you know, like social life and all that. She will tell you, like, what to do and whatnot. Jama, like many students here, is trying to make the most of his time in college, balancing a part-time job with a full load of six classes. So how does he do it all? You guessed it, the Learning Center. Organic chemistry, biology and anatomy, biochemistry, statistics, physics. I was taking all that in one semester, and I got all A's. So in other words... This little place is really a lot of help. No one says college is going to be easy, but these students are finding out the doors at the Learning Center are always open to get the help they need before stepping out into the real world. For Maricopa Now, I'm Courtney Carlmark. Students don't need to make an appointment to use the Learning Center, and it's totally free. For more information, check out students.southmountaincc.edu. We proudly pay tribute to Dr. Elias Provencio Vasquez during Hispanic Heritage Month for his contributions in the field of nursing. Jesus Hernandez introduces us to this Gateway Community College alumnus who attributes much of his success to his college experience. The nursing program at Gateway Community College helped launch the career of Dr. Elias Provencio Vasquez. He credits the dedication and encouragement of the teachers for his success as a student and as a nursing professional. Dr. Provencio Vasquez discovered his passion for nursing while working as a dishwasher at a Phoenix hospital. His passion drove him to become the first Hispanic male in the nation to receive a PhD in nursing and become the dean of a school of nursing. Today I am here to share my personal story and how it all began at Gateway Community College. The place that shaped me, gave me confidence, and launched my career trajectory. The place that made a difference. Recently, Dr. Provencio Vasquez was the honored keynote speaker during Gateway's faculty and service development activities. He spoke about the value of an education and about his parents coming to this country looking for a better life. Although education was very important to my family, Financial challenges were part of everyday living. 
None of my siblings were able to attend college after high school because getting a job and making money had a greater reward than the long-term gratification of a college degree. As he reflected on his days as a student, Dr. Provencio Vasquez emphasized the quality of teachers and staff all across the Maricopa Community College District. He believes it is because of the devotion of the teachers that so many are able to succeed and go on to find their place in the workforce. The importance and the message that I wanted to deliver today, the only one message that I wanted to deliver today is that they make a difference. That they make a difference in all of the students that they come in contact with and they make a difference in students believing in their potential and that they could be successful. Dr. Provencio Vasquez also stressed the value of supporting the community college system. As a way to show his support, he has decided to set up a scholarship in his name in partnership with the Maricopa Community College Foundation. It is his way of giving back and helping other students achieve their dreams. I'm Jesus Hernandez, reporting for Maricopa Now. Coming up on Maricopa Now, the force is with these young Jedis as they run and jump their way to fitness. Stay with us. Good morning, class. Welcome to Drawing 111. Hey, Maria, have you seen the new art classroom? It's pretty awesome. At Gateway Community College, we realize that graduation is only the beginning. You have a goal in mind, and we are with you every step of the way to reach it. We'll start your interview in here. Your office is right down here. Welcome to the team. Gateway, always moving forward. If you want to see the other side of the earth, then travel with 180 View here on MCTV. Tune in and take a journey from Arizona to the Ukraine. Compare lifestyles, architecture, the land, and traditions when we look at each culture and learn about our differences. 180 View is seen on MCTV, Cox Cable Channel 115. For airtimes, go to maricopa.edu slash MCTV. Teaching is an incredibly rewarding experience for me. Having the opportunity to inspire, support, and challenge my students is really rewarding. And I'm very lucky to be in this profession because I love what I do. You realize that 49 million Americans struggle with hunger? That's one out of every six Americans. These people are around us every day. They're our friends, they're our coworkers, their kids go to school with our kids. Sometimes we're not even aware that they're struggling. This problem is closer than you think. But so is the solution. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. What I look for most in an instructor is someone who is passionate about what they teach. Um, there's nothing better than leaving a class and feeling inspired. At some point or another in life, we have all wanted to give up. And no one understands this better than one Mesa Community College student. Lisa Aquafreda shares an inspirational story about a college woman who has turned her past of trial and tribulation into triumph. Well, every time I sew, I, I always think of her. I can just hear her kind of in the back of my mind, you know, telling me how to do it properly. Christine Begay remembers her mom when she sews. That's something I missed hearing. Both her parents passed away when she was young. Her mother died in a car accident. A Navajo word they would call all their children is, um, she has you. And which means, you know, my child, my little one. And, you know, they both would call me that all the time. 
While Christine can't erase the past, she can only look towards the future. Christine finds strength through sewing. She remembers spending time sewing with her mom, just like she does now with her little girl. Kind of a flashback, because I get after her the way the same way my mom got after me. Like mother, like daughter, she is an artist at heart and sews what she loves. Let me start off sewing right here. She created this jingle dress for her daughter to wear. A jingle dress is a traditional Native American garment that is created and worn during celebrations. For Native Americans, we get together um, during a social gathering, which is called a powwow. So the jingle dress is kind of um, something I danced when I was younger, and it's something I wanted her to have some pride in. Christine's jingle dress helped her receive a scholarship. You can see how she personalized the, the dress with her own family. Uh, and you, you know, you get to see the love in the, in, the, in the dress. Her background growing up and her love for her culture is inspiring others. Like Chrissy, she could be my daughter, you know, and through Navajo way, our culture, like I said, you know, I could be her, her mother. And with her little daughter, Kai, I could be her grandma. And that's what makes this story truly moving. Loretta has taken Christine under her wing. It feels good to have someone watching over me. She went through a lot of struggles, you know, with not having a mom, you know, and she's a single mom, and I think that's how she and I connected. Loretta encourages Christine to take her education seriously. She has taken business classes. We talked again about this, and she wants to go back into fashion. And she wants to start her own business, and I think she's going to do an excellent job. She lights up the rooms, you see. And uh, she's very dedicated to her studies, very thoughtful, very thorough. Christine has found peace in her kitchen where she sews and thanks the people who've supported her to pursue a degree in fashion. Most stories are written with words on paper, but for Christine, she writes her future with a needle and thread. For Maricopa Now, I'm Lisa Aquafreda. This is Maricopa News Law. It's Hispanic Heritage Month, and to celebrate the occasion, Phoenix College hosted Hispanic Heritage Cultural Day. Music, food, dancing, and even a tortilla making demonstration were part of the festivities. Other community events are planned throughout the month, including a cultural market, award ceremony, and wellness day. For more information, visit phoenixcollege.edu. Students gathered at Phoenix College for the Glow the Vote Together We Decide event. The goal of this student-led effort was to encourage more students to participate in the political process. Scottsdale Community College held a dedication ceremony and ceremonial blessing for its newest building on campus, the Film School Hub. Students, staff, and the community toured this new green building which features classrooms, state-of-the-art editing labs, collaboration rooms, and an equipment area called the cage. For more information about the film school, visit scottsdalecc.edu. The first Saturday concert series returns to Paradise Valley Community College. The Center for the Performing Arts hosts these free concerts on the first Saturday in October and November. Performances begin at 6 p.m. at the Outdoor Amphitheater, so bring a folding chair or blanket. For more information, visit paradisevalley.edu slash cpa or call the box office at 602-787-7738. South Mountain Community College and St. Mary's Food Bank Alliance are bringing fresh fruits and vegetables to the community. It's called the Mobile Pantry Program. And volunteers, students like you see behind me, pass it out to the public free of charge. And we do this twice or once a month, depending on the need in the neighborhood. Buddy Cheeks, the director of Student easier. Life and Leadership, says the program allows students to develop leadership skills, meet other students, and give back to the community. It's a sense of, of, of personal fulfillment of doing something for someone else. The program is offered the first and third Friday of the month from 7 to 9 a.m. For more information, call the Student Life and Leadership Office at 602-243-8065. And that's Maricopa News Log. Get into the game with Inside Maricopa Sports. From the gridiron to track and field, the ninth inning to the winning goal, Inside Maricopa Sports brings you the excitement of Maricopa College's sports. Get up close and personal with athletes and coaches. 
Plus, meet the unsung heroes of the game. Join us on the field and behind the scenes on Inside Maricopa Sports, only on MCTV, Cox Cable, Channel 115. a bench and I'm going to show you four exercises that you can do for the lower body, the glutes, the hamstrings, and the quads, for your core muscles, for your chest and your back, and we're going to finish up with triceps. Again, this can all be done very quickly in about a two to three minute time slot and you can get a great workout on and build up your energy level. So let's go ahead and start. You're going to face your bench. Make sure that whatever you're using is very secure. It's not going to move. We're going to use our right leg to step up. The left foot is going to suspend in the air, working on some balance as well. So we're going to step right, we're going to lift left, and then we're going to step down and tap. We're going to step up and lift, step down and tap. Let's do two more. Step up, lift, and you're going to add the arms in, step back, tap last time. Now we're going to switch to the left side. So now you're going to step left, lift right, step back and tap. Let's do three more. Keep the breath going, keep that core pulled in. We have one more. Once you're all the way down, what I want you to do is just turn around. You're gonna sit on your bench and you're gonna slide forward. Feet are about hip width apart, the arms come forward. We're gonna round the spine, take a big breath. On your exhale, you're leaning back. Inhale, exhale. You're just keeping that core pulled in. You're leaning back as far as you can go while keeping your feet on the floor. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale, now we're gonna add an oblique. You're gonna come back and hold, bring your hands into the chest. We're gonna twist across eight times. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four to go. Three, two, and one. You're gonna to come to the center. We're gonna turn over one more time, go right into your push-ups. So from this position, you've got two options. You can bring the knees down, keeping the arms wide, and come in and do your modified push-up. Or, if you feel like you can, you're gonna pop it up, Keep the core connected and come down and do regular push-ups. Let's do three more, two more, one more, and we're gonna finish up with that tricep. You're gonna step in, turn around, have a seat, feet together this time. Hands, one on each side of your hips, walk your feet forward, sliding up. You're only wanting a 90 degree bend at that elbow. You're sliding down and up, down and up. Let's do five more. Four to go, three looking good, Two, one more. Come all the way up and shake it out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. I'm Cookie, and that's your fit tip for today. My name's Reggie. Just recently, my wife and I took in her sister's children. And we already had four, so I went from becoming a family man to a man with a bigger family. <clears throat> now, you can't eat love, so I don't know how I'm going to feed them tonight. How was that, Rich? I think I look more like Denzel. <laughs> That's cold, man. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Can you consent with me? Imagine what you'd see if every child had a book to read. So the mission is for us to get a book to each and every child. <laughs> so let's join hands, book people unite. On Earth, hidden passion. So mama, Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. Hi, everybody. I'm Candace Hurdle with MCTV Sports, and it's time to get ready for football. We've got all the action for you this season with the best in junior college football. Join us for our weekly highlights with great football games on our Maricopa Gridiron Show. From Glendale and Phoenix College to Mesa and Scottsdale, it's nonstop gridiron action. We'll have interviews of coaches and players and some of the best sideline highlights. Join us each week for Maricopa Gridiron. Never miss a game because MCTV will be there. Their motto is, go far, close to home. And the flagship college of the Maricopa Community College's district, Phoenix College, has given students that opportunity for the last 90 years. We have a very strong alumni organization 22,000 members strong, and those alumni members to this day remember this institution and how it affected them and changed their lives. 
Today, Phoenix College serves nearly 30,000 students from over 100 countries who speak over 50 different languages. I think that's one of the finest features of the institution. Uh, we reach out to the community, we educate a very diverse student population. We also probably serve as an Hispanic serving institution because 34% of our students are Latino. While the campus remains rich in history, PC continues to evolve, meeting student, industry, and community needs. The addition of an award-winning fine arts building on campus is an inspiration to student learning. Whether their creativity is sparked within a state-of-the-art studio classroom, or outside the building. The restaurant in general. At the PC downtown campus, a new e-courtroom provides paralegal study students rare hands-on training. Nicholas Cooksey came to PC specifically for the bar accredited program. What they teach and how they, how they um, apply it is, I think, realistic to today's world. Uh, it certainly is realistic in the classroom, so um, that to me I think is a huge, huge opportunity. Looking down. For the last 30 years, the interpreter preparation program has been the only one of its kind in Maricopa County, educating the students who become the bridge between the hearing and deaf communities. They make a big challenge for us. They say, here's the, here's the bar, and try to reach it, and then they help us along with that. That passion for student success is one of the hallmarks of the institution. The way that our faculty and staff reach out to students, they care about them, they treat them as family members. It can be seen from the classroom to the kitchen, where aspiring chefs are learning their skills in the PC Culinary Cafe. Excuse me. And onto the playing field, where the Bears are known for their nationally ranked athletic programs. I am actually really impressed with Phoenix College and the professors and the faculty and the adjunct faculty, it's pretty amazing. Because of the reputation of the college and because of our academic standing, uh, there are a number of uh, students who look for PC and come to PC. Will you be one of them? For more information on the 200 degree and certificate programs at Phoenix College, visit their website at phoenixcollege.edu. If you've ever looked at a famous painting and been inspired to create your own, it's possible. Reporter Andrea Zakszewski shows you how. The Mona Lisa and the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci are two drawings that have helped give the world an appreciation of art. Future da Vinci's are learning drawing techniques at Scottsdale Community College. One such student is Sarah Dodd. I've been drawing for forever, but I guess I've been really serious about it since I was 15. Um, I was in high school and I finally decided that this is something that I wanted to do seriously. Sarah's work is inspired by books and philosophies. I like to tell a story. Um, you know, I like to take every thought captive, captive as I go about my day. This piece is all about entering that final utopia um, on a deeper level where people don't hurt anymore and people don't suffer anymore. You can see the connection. Of another Art instructor Robert Yu believes giving each student individual attention is important for them to develop their skills. Basically, I do what's called a customized assignment, basically for the individual's you know, goals. Uh, so really is uh, where you're at, wh where you want to go. Professor Yu, he's really helped me take my art absolutely to a whole new level. Robert studied art in China and throughout the United States. He brings his worldly experiences to the classroom. In beginning and advanced drawing, students learn how to use contrast, the importance of line quality, and composition. Sarah's art received recognition recently, winning the Juror's Choice Award in a student art competition. Regardless of skill level, anyone can take Robert Yu's class. I started really in art after I retired from many, many years in corporate America. I think that this is a really valuable program for anybody who's at any stage. Cindy Milliken never thought she'd be taking a drawing class. This drawing class uh, kind of came out of a dare for one organization that I worked for. They suggested I take uh, drawing. Cindy has won awards and is making progress with something she thought she couldn't do. After all their hard work, students in Mr. Yu's class are exhibiting their most recent work in the 13th annual drawing exhibition. By participating in the exhibition, students learn how to price and sell their work and gain other valuable experiences. 
Many of these artists hope they are on the path to making a name for themselves. For Maricopa Now, I'm Andrea Zakszewski. Scottsdale Community College offers beginner and advanced level drawing classes. Other art classes include sculpture, painting, photography, and much more. Check out scottsdalecc.edu for more information. Australia Mountain Community College reaches out to the community and offers kids college for youngsters of all ages. Deanne Kincaid has the story of one class called Jedi Fitness Training Camp. Take the thrill of being a Jedi Knight and mix with equal parts of mental and physical workout and you have the Jedi Fitness Training Camp. It's a new kids college class with a Star Wars theme for ages four through eight and it includes how to handle a lightsaber. Instructor Michael Gunderson explains how the idea of a Star Wars theme came about. My son is five and he's really interested in Star Wars and I, uh, I wanted to have an idea that um, something where Children could basically get a lot of exercise while at the same time staying very interested in what they're doing. The characters in Star Wars use the Force to enhance their natural ability, as explained by one of the students. When you try, you use your hands and then you try to lift stuff up. And the instructor teaches character lessons based on using the Force. Today's focus is about being truthful. Honesty, what does it mean to be honest? Who knows what it means? Sometimes easier to lie than tell the truth. It can be easier for a short period of time, but that'll catch up with you and it'll be harder in the long run. After the lesson of the day, the kids are eager to get their own lightsabers for games and mock battles. With PVC and a, a pool noodle, we constructed a lightsaber of a variety of different colors and then we used a variety of some different tape colors to help the kids identify which lightsaber is theirs. Working with the Force, the students test their concentration and honesty in a game called Yoda Says. We'd work on chopping, slicing, jumping, running, you know, everything that you could imagine that a Jedi Knight would have to do. All right, lightsabers up. All right, Yoda says block. Chop. Oh, Saheka, Lucas, you gotta sit down. Next, the class runs relay races to improve their balance, coordination, and teamwork. Then it's time to grab your lightsaber and head outdoors for the big battle. And this class is not limited to just boys. Even though I'm only one of the few girls in the class, I'm okay with it. I like to battle with the lightsabers. Each student develops their particular battle technique. Oh, you're down, Brandon. Oh, they got you. Oh, Kyle out of nowhere. A fallen player can get back in the game when another player touches him. All right, ready, go! This activity is a clear contrast to the sedentary style of video games. My mom got me into it because she thought I needed some exercise because usually I'm playing my DS, Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Cody's mom can see the difference. When he comes home from Jedi Fitness, he's tired. He needs a break, and he always seems to sleep really well at night. I just think it's a great class, and I highly recommend it. I can't wait to sign him up again. You can view Jedi Fitness and other summer classes offered by Kids College at estreamountain.edu slash kids. I'm Deanne Kincaid for Maricopa Now. Remember, the Force will be with you always. And that's our show. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to stay tuned to MCTV for our great lineup of shows, including Inside Maricopa Sports and 180 View. Also, check out our website at maricopa.edu slash mctv and click on DestTube. DestTube allows you to watch this show and all of our regularly produced programs anytime you wish. Until next time, take care. Don't touch that remote. MCTV has more great programming coming right up. Join MCTV every day for Inside Maricopa Sports in Foke and Tufaturo and our daily community calendar update in the district.